Hi, my name is Paul Kautza. I'm the Director of Education for the Data Warehousing Institute, and we're here at our Chicago conference, and I'm joined by Ralph Hughes, who's the Chief Systems Architect for Serigenics, and has been focusing on Agile Data Warehousing for a long time. And Ralph and I have been working together since 2009 at, the TD at TWI when we brought our first class in on Agile uh, on a Friday, and you had like 75 people in the class. And we've been doing more and more ever since, and now we're coming up to, I think this is our third year of a themed Agile BI conference. So we have uh, our Agile BI conference coming up in San Diego, California at the Manchester Hyatt from August 18th through the 23rd. And uh, Ken Collier is another colleague of, of, of all of ours from an instructor standpoint. He works for, for a different company, but we kind of collaborate on the whole Agile piece and we try to be Agile with it. And I ask you and Ken to try to put together uh, a series of four days, six, four six-hour days of classes. Um, and we've got other Agile pieces, but I'd like you to, if you could, just kind of give us an overview of the flow of those classes and how they work together and what some of the pieces are so that people who are thinking about this from an Agile standpoint know what they might be able to expect. Yes. Okay, good. Thanks, Paul. Uh, I think it's actually really fabulous that you were able to work with both Ken and I because we're the two leading authors in this space and we're both authoring books that really serve as a reference for people who want to invest heavily in an Agile program. But how do you get started? You need a good overview. And that's what we've done at the TDWI conference for San Diego. I'm going to lead it off with what we call Agile Data Warehousing 101, which is just Actually, if you've never heard the word Agile before, come to the class and we'll give you a thorough introduction to it. But we'll also delve pretty deeply into some of the topics that the remaining three classes will provide so that you'll be able to see whether you want to take those as well. After the Agile 101, the next class I'm going to provide is Agile Data Engineering. One of the challenges for data warehousing and Agile has been the fact that you can have a great method that will go lickety-split, but if you use some of the traditional data modeling techniques, you build data warehouses that aren't agile in themselves, in their structure. And so we've got some new data modeling paradigms that will help you with that challenge. Ken is then going to provide a class on, let's see, road mapping, chartering, and release planning. So what he does is take you top down from an executive level point of view to the project room and steps you through all those decisions you need to make so you frame a project in a realistic fashion so that an incremental team can dive into it and start delivering right away without having to deal with some of the organizational challenges that can crop up and surprise you if you don't plan for them. And then he's going to f finish up with a uh, agile business intelligence testing, automation, and test-driven development. Agile projects deliver higher quality outcomes than traditional waterfall projects, and there's a very specific reasons. We build quality into the process at di six different places, and he's going to step you through that and also share with you some of the tools that are available for automating that process so that you can get one tester to do this, the work of three to six testers and really get a force multiplier in effect for your quality assurance program. Terrific. Well, that, that sounds very exciting. And I know that you and Ken have, have come from uh, traditional agile scrum methodologies. And the nice part about this, and the thing that I think, and I was sitting in your class a little bit today, that makes this work is the kind of the, the, the things you have to do with traditional agile to make it work in data warehousing. You just can't come in with just straight traditional agile scrum methodologies and expect them to work in data warehousing. You actually have to have the experience and have to have the scars on your back of, of making that happen and making that work. So those are four six-hour classes we've got on agile that are linked together. And then on Thursday of that week, Lawrence Kaur, who wrote the book uh, Agile Dimensional Modeling, is going to give a full day on using some Agile techniques in a dimensional modeling environment. And then on Friday, Larissa Moss, who wrote a book called Extreme Scoping, is going to look at some Agile methodologies for enterprise implementations and how you can use Agile across broader enterprise organizations. And I know you guys talk a lot about enterprise as well, but that's one of the, one of the methodologies, I think, that she focuses on. So, And I've got about three or four other classes that touch on, on a little different aspects of Agile. I've got a 
a, a class in there on, on uh, power, and, uh, power politics and performance. It's more of a human side, developing your agile organizational skills, because I think uh, the, the, the thing that I think that agile has brought to our space that we haven't been able to do for 30 years is that forced collaboration between business and IT. And it, and, and it won't work without that day-to-day -day collaboration. So um, it's a very exciting topic. It's a very exciting area. Uh, I think we have a really, really good lineup. In addition to that, we've got about 30 other classes around analytics, around data asset management, around data mo traditional data modeling, dimensional modeling, and leadership and management. So I hope you can join us in San Diego, August 18th through 23rd at the Manchester Hyatt. This is Paul Kautzer with Ralph Hughes. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in San Diego. Thank you.